Hi, and welcome to Infocom 2019. I'm David Malda with Let's Do Video at the Starin booth, who's hosting the base camp. You can find out more about them at starin.biz. And I'm joined here by Esther. Esther, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Hi, everybody. My name is Esther Yoon. I'm the product marketing manager for our conference room solutions at Zoom Video Communications. Now, I'm sure everyone's heard of Zoom and has been yeah. reading all the news, but are there any announcements you'd like to share? Yeah, you know, we've had a lot of really cool announcements um, really centered around the conference room. Uh, we're doing great things like um, enhancing our Zoom rooms for touch features. So, for example, now we have shape detection. You draw a circle with your hand. You don't have to be great at drawing anymore. It'll automatically draw a perfect circle. Uh, for example, uh, in terms of innovations on the administration side, uh, we actually have more room intelligence that's going to uh, be coming in, um, and it's going to be available in about three or four days, uh, you're going to be able to um, do people counting in those rooms. So each room now will have data around how many people are actually joined live and in person. I know a lot of people working in enterprise are looking for that kind of data when they're planning their facilities. Yep, yep. And well, also, you know, if we look at a video first unified communications platform, right? You're you're doing things like chatting, and you're on desktop, and you're mo you're on mobile, uh, you're in the conference room. Um, and one of the uh, recent features that we rolled out is also to be able to integrate chat across desktop, mobile, and into your room. So now you're going to be able to see your your chat, your meeting chat, in your conference rooms displayed, uh, popping up right on the screen as well as on the Zoom Rooms controller. Nice. It sounds like the unified communications we've always talked about yeah. might actually happen someday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fingers crossed. No. Yeah. So this space has gotten incredibly crowded. There are yeah. so many cloud vendors just on the floor here today. Mm -hmm. If someone is to go to the Zoom booth, chat with you, chat with the team, as they're walking away, what's going yeah. the thing that sticks in their mind that says, okay, this is the thing that makes Zoom different from all the other competition here? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think first and foremost, you know, I don't know anyone else out there that has a motto like ours, which is delivering happiness. And when they walk away, I really want them to um, walk away thinking of delivering happiness being substantiated with things like you know value added services. You know We don't try and nickel and dime our customers. We have free services like digital signage and scheduling display that are included with your license. Um, we have over 200 features released every, every year, right? And that's across our whole platform. Um, and we have simple pricing and we do it all for our customers and to make um, the, the video first communication experience uh, pleasant all the way through you know IT managers IT departments CIOs to the people in your actual conference rooms uh, you know in front of your desktops actually using the zoom platform it, it, zoom really is the opposite of everyone else in yeah. the industry who starts with we have these great products and if you use them your people will be happy yeah you guys start with First thing is happiness, now let's figure out how to make it happen. Exactly, well, you can't really get happiness if no one else, no one knows how to use your products. So first and foremost is you know, adoption and making sure that anyone from someone who's you know, a technical genius to your grandmother, they should be able to know how to walk into a room, start a meeting, whether it's from their desktop or mobile or from a conference room. Yes. Yeah, so one of the things we, we first thought about Zoom is, is this is, is this too easy? Yeah. <laughs> you know, is this really an enterprise <laughs> yeah. product? But you guys have obviously get your enterprise credentials. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of enterprise uh, customers that actually really appreciate our solution because whatever department they're in, even the non-technical departments, they know that Zoom just works and they know how to use it. Now things in this industry are moving so quickly. It seems like last week it was it was Infocom 2018. Yeah. So in the last year, what lessons have we learned? What new trends are we looking for? Yeah. From a hardware perspective, uh, the biggest trend I've seen um, is the, I guess, is the appreciation for the benefits of uh, proprietary hardware and also an open hardware ecosystem. Who says you have to choose one or the other, right? They're no longer competing paradigms. You can get the best of both worlds at Zoom. Um, and we really learned that and we really, um, you know, uh, made some big strides with our hardware manufacturer partners, uh, with our single vendor kits and our lockdown operating systems, you know, with Windows IoT devices. So now you get the benefits of purpose-built devices, but then you can also tap into the benefits of an open hardware ecosystem, like a customized training room setup, right? You can have multiple cameras set up. So basically we've extended the open hardware ecosystem benefits but brought in the value of single purpose devices so that it's easier for customers to deploy our solutions and and maintain and manage them as well yeah, it seems like we we realized that it'd be great if there was a one size fits all but yeah. there isn't maybe that's why there's so many different Ex yeah exactly if you go to the zoom booth there's 10 different ways to make a zoom call on yeah. 10 different you know partner uh, uh, ecosystems so yeah 
embracing that flexibility. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, you walk into a conference room and you have glass walls versus, you know, wooden walls versus tall ceilings. That's all going to be a different experience. And if you can't adapt your hardware for your conference room to those different spaces, then you're gonna you're gonna compromise your experience. Now, the show itself, huge show, lots yeah. of people. What are your thoughts on Infocom 2019? You know, my thoughts are the AV industry, they're, they're starting to see the value of software-based uh, conference rooms and, and video communications. And they're really starting to, you know, I'm starting to see leaps towards it, right? You see a lot of the hardware partners jumping on and, and really understanding how to work better with the software service providers. Um, but other than that, it's just really cool to see here, uh, come here and see all the lights and all the fancy things that everyone's doing to try and uh, bring audio and visual communications to life. Yeah, it almost seems like the you know the famous IPO yeah. you know, wasn't just good for Zoom, but it validated the entire software video conferencing totally. market. Totally. Very mm -hmm. cool. All right, final question. I know some things under NDA yeah, that I can't yeah. share, but is there anything we can share? Any teasers about what to expect from Zoom in the next in the rest of the year? Yeah, so you know, you can expect that we're gonna be working much closer with hardware partners to make bring the benefits of those you know, uh, single purpose uh, or purpose built devices and, and room experience. Um, but you're also going to see a lot more strides towards room intelligence. Um, we announced people counting uh, and you're going to see more things along those lines to get you a uh, value out of that type of data. So I guess you can find out more at our October uh, 16th, 17th event in uh, San Jose. It's called Zoomtopia. It's our user conference. We're I'll actually calling it a festival this year. So it's going to be really fun. It's a, it's a great opportunity to learn about Zoom's latest and greatest, see our partners, see how they're um, innovating as well alongside, uh, alongside Zoom, um, and just have like a really fun time with us. Yeah. Zoomtopia is going to be great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. So thanks so much for joining me. You can learn more about Zoom at zoom.com now. Yeah. <laughs> which is great. Yeah, we got the domain. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. And you can learn more about me at letsdovideo.com. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks, everyone.